Okay, so the ventral spinocerebellar tract um, takes information regarding unconscious proprioception from many fibers um, from muscle spindles and Golgi tendon organs. So this has information regarding few or a couple muscle, fi muscle spindles or Golgi tendon organ from lower extremity. Um, the main difference of this tract um, of unconscious proprioception with the three others that we talked about is that this one has two decussations and it goes through superior peduncles and obviously it takes information from many fibers um, if we were to compare it with the rostral spinocerebellar tract which we'll talk about next okay so here we have our person so it's taking information from muscle spindle from the lower extremity and the cell bodies are located in dorsal root ganglion. The information enters the spinal cord, so this is a level below C8. This is a section of the spinal cord and it will synapse at lamina 7. So it's going to synapse right here. This is your first synapse. Right after it synapses over here, it's going to decussate, so it has its first decussation over here via anterior white commissure fibers. And then it's going to enter the ventral spinothalamic pathway and it will go up. So it will go up until it enters um, the medulla and then it enters the cerebellum and it's going to enter the cerebellum via superior peduncles. So let's say that this is the cerebellum and this is the brain. And then we said that you we had superior, middle, and inferior. So the information is going to go to the superior peduncle this time. Once it enters the superior peduncles in the cerebellum, it will have its second decussation. So here we have our first decussation. Um, right after its first synapse in the dors in the um, spinal cord, and you will have your second decussation once it enters the superior peduncles. So here you will have your second decussation. And from this point on, everything is the same as uh, the other two tracks we talked about: the cuneocerebellar and dorsal spinocerebellum. So this is cerebellum and I'm just going to magnify it over here so I can show you the little fibers over here so the superior peduncles are gonna turn into mossy fibers again and you will have your second synapse at the granule cells and you will have your parallel fibers you will have your third synapse at the Purkinje cells and via the accents of the Purkinje cells you will go deep to the cerebellum and the last synapse is at deep cerebellar nucleus. So once again, the ventral spinocerebellar tract takes unconscious proprioception information from many fibers and many muscle spindles of lower extremity, so this is below C8. Um, it has two decussations, so 
you have your muscle spindle here, uh, you have a signal here because it's stretched, or you have your Golgi tendon here, there's too much tension here, and it sends a signal to the cell bodies which are located in dorsal with ganglion, which has to do unipolar neurons, and then it's going to enter the spinal cord, uh, and it's going to synapse at lamina 7. So you're going to have your first synapse over here, and then right after you will have decussation. So it's going to be contralateral site in the spinal cord. So we are anterior white commissure fibers. You have your first decussation, and then the information will go up via the ventral spinal cerebellar tract. Uh, and then it's going to enter the brain and it will enter uh, once it enters the brain and once it enters the cerebellum it's going to go to the cerebellum via the superior peduncles and at the superior peduncles again it's going to decussate so it's going to have its second decussation so at this point um, the information uh, that is being processed inside the cerebellum is on the same side as the where the, the information was received, so the same side of the body. And then from that point on, everything is happening in the cerebellum. The superior peduncles are changed names to mossy fibers. Uh, you have your second synapse at the granule cells. Granule cells give their signal um, through the parallel fibers to Purkinje cells. You have your third synapse there. And the axon of the Purkinje cell gives text information to deep cerebellar nucleus. You have your fourth synapse there.